A great yacht reveals the personality of its ship owner. This model expresses class, a sporty style and a great knowledge of boats and the sea. Itama 62RS is art, tradition and held in respect over time. The history of this shipyard dates back more than 50 years ago, precisely in 1969, and this type of yacht keeps on having charm. It has changed its look compared to the previous generations, but it preserves the peculiarities that made the Itama boats iconic. The long foredeck with its smooth curve is free from every element that could possibly violate its pureness. flush skylights, retractable bollards and a lowered and retractable sun deck to admire the teak. There is no guardrail, there's not even a handrail. What do you do for style? On the sides there are the portholes and the air intake of the engine room that are made invisible thanks to the painting of the hull so as not to divert the eye from the beauty of the deck. The rounded windshield runs along the sides and reaches the stern. Its steel edge helps us navigate the walkways, but to get on the foredeck, the centre passage in the centre of the windshield is also convenient. This model is wonderful, but if you want, you can choose different colours and layouts. In the cockpit, the guests are protected, and when the boat runs on the water, they're not bothered by the wind. An open boat is the one that, more than the others, brings you to another dimension that makes you appreciate the pleasure of being on board and makes you enjoy the summer and the sun. If you need a little shade, there is the self-supporting and power-assisted awning. The cockpit is comfortable and safe, and you can invite on board all the 14 people that the boat can host. It is organised with a dining area with a table and sofas. The bar unit is set partially under the pilot seats and partially in the side cabinet. Opposite the steering area, there is another forward sofa and a chaise lounge. The position of the life raft is right here, ready in case of need, is one of the signs of the true marine character of this yacht. The sun deck is for four people and it's open to the stern for you to step down onto the immense swimming platform. The interior has the same summery Mediterranean flavour as the deck. The dinette and galley allow you to have breakfast here, but also to have dinner below deck. The position of the furniture is perfect. The wood decorates, but does not aesthetically heavy the rooms, which are as clear as they have always been on Itama. It's a classy boat, and the style, as well as the accessories and equipment, all of which are top-notch, reveal this to us. The master cabin is at the bow vertex. Pier 2, the light is amplified by the light decor, contrasted only in some spots by inserts of essence and fabric. Along the sides, there are long windows and practical storage. There is a vanity and a rather capacious closet. The size of the master bedroom is made evident by the double sink. One of the guest cabins has a double bed leaned on a bulkhead. The other cabin can be a double or with two single beds. In addition to the closets, there are also storage cabinets and an open compartment. Each cabin has its own bathroom. An additional berth can be obtained by transforming the dinette. The crew cabin is an optional and would be at the stern. Another optional is the gyroscopic stabiliser. We're in the waters in front of Mandalu on the Côte d'Azur. Let's start the test of the Itama 62RS. 
I have activated the automatic trim control system with the Humphrey interceptors and given gas. Listen to the peace and quiet. We are in plane at 15 knots. The engines are at 1,300 RPM. It's a wonder. We could navigate like this for many miles. I'd rather not annoy you with the technical data, but I must give you some. This is a deep V-hull. At the stern, on the transom, it has a dihedral angle of 20 degrees. This is a lot for a boat of this size. But there must be a reason if in many years they've never changed a single thing about these water lines. The model we're testing is equipped with two man engines of 1,400 horsepower each. Obviously, this propulsion is a traditional, reliable, safe and eternal shaft line. It is built with aramid fibers because a boat like this must last over time and years. It must withstand the blows of the sea. The cruising speed is 25 knots, the engines are at 1600 rpm. Everything we have seen until now is normal, but prepare yourself to see something incredible. I give some gas. I remove the trim control as well as the healing angle control. I take control of the boat. Two thousand one hundred RPM, a cruising speed of thirty four point five knots. E adesso state a vedere. Now watch and observe. The rudder angle is at its maximum. Look at the healing. To exaggerate, to do something really incredible, I also lowered the external flap. Osservate l'inclinazione dello scafo. Guardate l'angolo di sbandata e anche... Look at the boat's inclination and the healing angle. Also, take a look at the safety that this boat provides. The wheel doesn't move and the bow impeccably keeps the course. And I'm here very calm with the gunwale into the water. The whole side of the boat is in the water and I don't feel the sea bumps and it doesn't change the course. I don't have to correct it. It's extraordinary. And when suddenly, as in this case, I have to dodge another boat, this is how quickly I can change direction. In all these veering and countervering maneuvers, I lost only two and a half, three knots of speed. Which boat can give you such comfort and safety? And now let's go for the rather high waves made by that yacht at 35 knots. Let's see what happens. It's pitching, that's natural, but do you feel how smooth it is? It's fabulous. And now, I just have to try it at full speed. It accelerates and it accelerates quickly, even though we're still veering. I enter this other wake and I'm already at 36 knots. I will completely take off the interceptors. 
riuscite a percepire il corpo. And you feel the comfort and the pleasure of navigating at 38.5 knots with the Itama 62 RS. Con Itama 62 RS. There's a reason these boats are timeless and you can't find them second hand. That is because no one will get tired of navigating with this hull.